Hey seventh grade, so in order to start grid drawing, this will be your first practice sheet. All I'm asking for is your name and your grade. And all you are doing in this right-hand section of your paper is you are copying the lines from the left-hand section to the right to make one full image. And I think you can already tell that you're making an owl. So what I'm doing is I'm starting from this first square and I'm just copying the line that I see in this second square. The line moves down and it moves up. And from here you can either go down or you can go across to fill in each of these boxes. But now that I'm done with this box, I will move on to my second box. Again, I'm just trying my best to copy what I see. So I can see that it only goes halfway through. And this will definitely take some time, even for me. It's a little bit tricky um, showing you on this video. Um, it's okay to erase, it's okay to go back, because this is just your practice drawing. So I'm gonna speed this up and you can see the progress that I make from the start to finish. So from here you can see that I went square by square just to find the right side of this owl, making sure that I was doing the reverse of everything that I saw on this left side. Once you get here and I check you off for your first drawing, grid drawing practice, then you're gonna move on to a much more complicated one, one that will look a lot more like what we will be doing with our Snapchat self-portraits. So what you're gonna do here is you're going to be drawing the flower design that you see over here, but you're doing basically just a contour or a outline first. So let me show you how to do that. First thing you wanna do is you wanna label your boxes. So I'm gonna label my top row first so that if I ever get lost, I can just refer back to the box number that I'm trying to look for. So for the top of this flower box, I'm gonna go by letters, A, B, C, D, and E. And I'm also gonna do the same thing over here. This is just gonna help me out in the long run. So I do want you to do it as well. Then you're going to count down one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So for example, if I'm starting over here near the stem, I would be starting at six E. So I know I need to go to box six E to start my stem. And so I'm gonna start from the bottom of this drawing. Whether you start from the bottom or from the top is completely up to you. But I'm just going box by box. So now that I have this box done, I'm gonna move up. Making sure I stop it right where it is stopped on this drawing. I'm gonna do the same to mine. And again, I'm gonna show you a time lapse of this because it will be a little bit boring for you to watch this whole thing. So from here, you can see that I have a pretty good outline of where I'm going with this drawing. You can see the first flower up here over the second flower. And then I'm gonna go back in with my pencil and just add some shading. The shading can be a little more loose than, because I already have my basic outline for my drawing laid out. I went box by box. This will be a lot easier than, or a little bit easier, I think, than the owl because you're not having to do the reverse image right through a mirror you're just copying exactly what you see onto this second chart from here once i check off this drawing you can move on to your final self-portrait drawing once i have those printed and ready for you